I grew up in northwestern Ohio, and I was told that Case was the best place in that part of the country to study physics or engineering. Well, most of my time at Case, I spent either down or around the sports area in the, in the gym, on the track, or uh, in the library. I studied a lot in the library, also slept a lot in the library. And at that time, we did not have an indoor track. And so I can remember running uh, outside on the sidewalk on uh, ice and snow in the wintertime. And I felt someday I hope to be rich, and I hope that some way I can help Case with a facility uh, where the students can exercise inside without having to, to put up with the, the cold winters uh, outside in Cleveland. When I go in the physics building, I still get a little uh, bad feeling in my stomach thinking about the terrible exams we had. It's a lot of fun going back there. And at the beginning of the senior year in physics lab, uh, Professor Hoffman showed us a hologram. And that was the first time I'd ever seen a hologram, first time I'd ever seen a laser. And I still remember looking through that hologram. I was so amazed by what I saw. And I just said, you know, I have to know more about this, and that really got me very interested in, in studying optics. I've started uh, a few companies. Two of them are in the area of interferometry, and so it really, um, both these companies, in a sense, goes back to that first day I saw this hologram. Coach Sudak, just an outstanding person. He taught us a lot of things, but one, one thing I remember in particular, he always said, don't kick a sick dog. If someone is having trouble, uh, you don't give them a hard time. You, uh, you try to help them any way you can. In the case, they worked us pretty hard. But that was good for us. And I felt I got a really good background in physics and math that has helped me throughout my entire career. Being on the Board of Trustees uh, has given me the opportunity to learn about some of the challenges that universities have nowadays, financial challenges, uh, especially in the technical area, the laboratories are uh, so important and they're very, very expensive to maintain. Think box where the students will have a, a good place to, to work on their own projects, to work with hardware, to learn about starting companies. I think this is a, a fantastic project that they're working on with Thinkbox, but it's also very expensive. So again, money is needed. For this.